right now, the best looking picture you can put on your new Sony flat screen, your 1080p high def flat screen, doesn't come from a cable company or a, or a satellite company. It comes from your own camcorder. Your own camcorder compresses the picture less than those other things do. Um, I think inevitably more and more people are going to mash up and, and you know, more and more of their, their work. I hate to call it content because I don't think, I think it's more like flames, like I said earlier. An idea is like a flame. It's not, the term, I, I can't stand the term content. It's, uh, it's uh, as I said in the earlier session, uh, John Perry Barlow said that um, I didn't start hearing about content until the container business felt threatened. And uh, we, you know, I, I think we, the nature of, of one of the things that's, that's natural about human beings is we want to do original stuff and we like original stuff. And we produce a certain amount of original stuff, all of us. And the, the old producer-consumer framing of things, I think, is an industrial age relic. Um, uh, I don't even feel comfortable saying we're all producing and consuming all the time. We're sharing, you know, we're publishing. You know, I'm much, I'm, publishing is actually a better term. We're syndicating. Syndicating used to be things only large newspapers could do or large, large other uh, information production outfits could do. Anybody can syndicate now. Look up RSS, you get like three billion results on, on, on Google. All done mostly because of Dave Weiner who wrote the code, froze it and put it out there so everybody could use it. And, and it's, you know, I just think that there's a, um, it's really hard to escape the old ways of looking at things, you know, that we're, we're, we're going to have these big guys that are going to produce things for us, going to package it up just right for us, and we're going to consume that in the old way. And we'll do some of that, but there's, n there's no limit to the different ways that we can share now and that we can participate in whatever this is going to be. And, uh, and I, you know, I, I don't know how it's going to go. I do, I do think when, when you step back from, from the parochial interests of, vested powers at a given time and, and just look at what technology is bringing along, um, you can start to see inevitable patterns emerging. You know, to, to me, it's inevitable that, that Hollywood will be diffused through everybody. You know, anybody's gonna be in a position to produce a movie. And, and the star system, which is very distracting right now, um, the, the celebrity culture is bigger than ever, I think. But People Magazine makes something like $2 billion a year, right? I, I look at it, I don't know who those people are in it anymore because I don't watch much television. But, but people are obsessing about that, and that's cool. Um, but there's, you know, at the same time, there, there are so many other ways of, of, of putting this stuff together, and it's almost too easy 